Well, we can speak live now to Irene Tinagli, who is MEP for Northwest Italy, representing the Lombardy region, which has been worst hit by the coronavirus. And she herself has been in quarantine for the last three weeks. First of all, Irene, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. But of course, I'm worried uh, because this emergency keeps going. And uh, although the growth rates is uh, less, it's, you know, not as, as tough as it was a few days ago, but we, the death toll increases every day. So this is very worrying. And the death toll has been really shocking today, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, so many more uh, have died. Um, is this something that people were prepared for or has it taken people uh, by shock? Nobody was prepared for uh, a tragedy of this magnitude because at uh, the very beginning, people thought it would be, you know, bad virus, so obviously worse than the flu. Nobody expected this kind of death toll. Um, so uh, now many people are starting to really get scared. Uh, I you know, the streets are completely desert. Of course, there are people sometimes, you know, in line for groceries, but um, the, the situation is obviously very serious. Although the towns who were quarantined first, in those areas, the uh, contagion has stopped. So this is a good sign that maybe in a week or so, even in, you know, the area that right now are uh, most affected, uh, that it could be decreasing. So that's what we all hope. So it has been said um, that the UK is several weeks behind Italy. What advice would you have for the UK? Well, take it very seriously. Uh, don't hesitate to lock down, especially the areas that are more easily uh, to, to lock down, as we did in several towns. They responded very well. In a couple of weeks, uh, contagions uh, started to decrease and disappear. Of course, it's more difficult for large metropolitan areas. It's true. But uh, uh, this is the first thing, is trying to lock down as much as you can. The second advice, protect your doctors. You're going to have problems in shortage of doctors, 10% of our, uh, you know, the people affected are doctors and nurses, and now we have a shortage, and this is a, a drama, so it's, it's desperate, and uh, so be very careful in protecting your doctors and nurses. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there. Many thanks yeah. for talking to us. Irene Tinagli there, speaking to us from, uh, from Italy. Thank you.